seriously, like you don't realize how much like something right here affects your vision. Yeah, no, I'm really, I can't see. I can't move my <laughs> neck. I'm being suffocated by this tie, by this shirt, and by these bandages. My face is sticky. All I can smell is spirit gum. And my eyes are dry. Happy Halloween. My name is Dakota. I'm Lauren. And welcome to another episode of the Horror Nights Gauntlet. Special report. Uh, So, we have had yet another announcement. I know I'm doing absolutely horrible on keeping up with any other element of this show. But Halloween Horror Nights in both Orlando and Hollywood have announced the... I guess not the last IP for Hollywood. Hollywood, But it is the last IP for Orlando. It's the weekend! The weekend. After Hours Nightmare. Anyway, uh, let's read the thing. Do you want to read the thing, Laura? It's a short thing, actually. The, like, official description is not that long. Prepare to enter the macabre mind of the weekend in this haunted house as he stalks your squad through the surreal nightmare of his after-hours music. A slasher carving a smile at an otherworldly rave. Bandaged maniacs performing extreme plastic surgery. A grotesque mannequin masquerade. His nightmare is now yours. Um, what are we thinking? Super excited. I cannot wait. I've been a we, fan of... We hate The weekend. <laughs> We're not fans. I've been a fan of The weekend <laughs> for several years now, so I'm very excited. Same. <laughs> Fun fact, I first started listening to The weekend the first year that I, like, regularly started going to Horror Night, so... Hmm. Wait, our first year together or first year that you start, we started... First year that I, like, started, like regularly going so 2014 okay because i went one time in 2012 fun fact lauren is actually a much bigger weekend fan than me i and i am i would consider myself a pretty big weekend fan but nowhere near as big as lauren and definitely for not as long uh i got into weekend i feel like it was always kind of a casual weekend fan but i like really got into weekend maybe around like the starboy era and then uh after Hours was just my fucking shit. I am so happy that this house is like... I know everyone really wanted it to be like a mashup of like everything or just After Hours and... Un- and uh, I almost said Until Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> just After Hours and uh, <laughs> Dawn FM. But I'm like really happy it's just After Hours. I, I think it'll allow for a more cohesive story because the story with After Hours is so cohesive. No, you're absolutely right. It's, it's very much... If you, like, watch all of the music videos and the performances from that era in the order that they happened in, it's very much, like, it tells a story. It's, like, a very loosey-goosey kind of story. I mean, there's, the references are, like, out the ass. Like, for everyone who said The weekend is in horror, eat my fucking ass. So we we actually learned a, a lot today uh, about this house. Entertainment Weekly was actually the one to officially break the news mm-hmm. first. They, uh... They posted a full article. Like, it's a long article. We have interviews with Charles Gray from HHN Orlando, John Murdy from HHN Hollywood. Both of them worked directly with Abel. Abel is The Weeknd. Should we say that? If you're if you're not a fan of The Weeknd, I feel like you don't know. That his name is Abel. That his Fine. name is his Abel. A, his name is Abel. But they both worked with, with, with The Weeknd <laughs> to design this house. And the concept sounds fun. That's cool. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah, I'm really into it. I'm I'm really into it. Like, I mean, the music videos were great. So if it's it's just an extension of that, like, I'm I'm super hyped. I'm very into it. It's funny because the way it's been described, it is basically another original house. It feels <gasps> like an original, like an IP that is an original, which is how Legends Collide feels, and how Bride of Frankenstein, felt. and how Bride of Frankenstein felt. And that's a that's a trend. This is personally my favorite kind of IP house. Is one that's, I okay like. I've seen a lot of arguing. Some people want to be dropped directly in the movie. Some people want a new experience. To me, like, okay. I mean, you have your book report houses and your book report rides. Like, The Little Mermaid would be, like, a book report ride. Or you have, like, rides like Rise of the Resistance, where it's like, this is a completely new adventure that we've put you on and it's completely transportative. And no one would ever say that that didn't feel like you lived through Star Wars. And that's how I feel about original houses, or rather IP houses, with, like, entirely original Mm storylines uh and to me this is really exciting that they're taking they want to place you in the headspace of the weekend as he was being inspired to write the album after hours which i really like that yeah i get really excited about the houses that are like my own experience yeah i I would agree because 
it, you don't really know what you're gonna get. You don't know what you're gonna get, but you get the references, mm -hmm. and it's like it's like you've been taken into your own little corner of that world, and have been. I don't. It's all. I feel. It feels more transportative to me because now I'm having my own experience with the material yeah. rather than. Absolutely. Did you? Oh my God! You've done. You've done Alice Cooper. That was your first year, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> so we've both done a, we've both done a music house, and it's the same fucking one. <laughs> I've never done a Hollywood music house. I've only done an Orlando one. Yeah, but that's the same idea. <laughs> Let's hope it turns out better than that. They describe the journey as a fever dream hellscape about surviving LA and the horrors that come with it. And then um, Charles Gray described it as like that like really iconic part of a like. Clockwork Orange where Alex has like the clamps in his eyes and he's being forced to watch like all of the different like violent media. That, and then they also mentioned uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and Jacob's Ladder, which I haven't watched Jacob's Ladder in like probably 20 years, but I do remember that like fucking me up as a kid. And uh, Fear and Loathing is not really a horror movie, but it's really fucked up. <laughs> and then they talk about in the uh, Heartless video, how Abel gets the like frog eyes. I mean, well clearly the frog is gonna play a part in it because they mentioned that there's like frog monsters. Oh right, and then he licks the toad. Yeah. That's why there's toads, duh, I remember that. Yeah. So there's a scene in Fear and Loathing where he's like in the lobby of this fucking hotel and all of these people are just lizards because he's high as shit. And it's really upsetting. And that's how they're describing these frog things. Which, those lizards match more of that, like, dragon-looking... Yeah, like, and <laughs> if that's what, like, the frog thing is going to be, like, I am I fully get where they're going with this. Could be, like, depths of fear, though. It, it could be. <laughs> it could be. Let's hope it's not. You know what I would love? I would love, like, a giant, like, frog puppet like um like the big clown um from killer clown can, can we please not do another inflatable and, for the love of god and then i would love to walk through like that trippy sort of like tunnel thing oh into... a tunnel would be good um, uh so they also said it was like broken into three acts also we're only getting six songs but they're good songs they're they're singles it's the singles either way so we know it starts in the club it goes to the bathroom it goes to a hotel and then it goes to a train station and i'm into that like the club obviously we're getting like in your eyes we're probably gonna do you think there's gonna be any sneaking in tracks from like don fm or from like past albums yeah i could see there being some like visual representation like starboy with the like lit neon cross i, I was thinking see that, that too. being hidden somewhere in the house or even just being like a scare like maybe someone just has it yeah like just one scare I love, first of all, that he's, like, ballsy enough to be like, yeah, I have an album that I'm currently promoting, but we're not going to base this Haunted House on that one. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, Weekend is willing to promote an album with a Haunted House, even if it's not the current album cycle. Let it go. But to be fair, too, like, he's he said that um, After is Hours is a trilogy. Yeah. So you've got After Hours, Dawn FM, and then there's going to be a third album. Is it that... called Afterlife or is the trilogy called Afterlife? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We're bad fans. Um... Lizard heads and piranha faces pro proliferate the club. The textured bits of, well, stuff will dangle from above and graze your skin. You'll also be blasted in the face with high pressure air and spurts of water all to make you think you're getting hit in the face with blood. So what I love about this Entertainment Weekly article is it assumes you have never been in a haunted house in your fucking life. And they're like, yeah, and next you put your hand in a fucking bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so we know the club. It's going to be in your eyes, obviously. Um... I'm Hot twist, it's not. <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, it just feels like natural. That's what it's going to be. And they've described it. I love the description of piranha and lizard-headed people and, like, frog-headed people. And I'm like, this is so fear and loathing in Las Vegas. And that part is so fucking weird. Uh, I love that. I love... If this is kind of a reference to In Your Eyes, and then, like, I'm imagining them, like, really... Like, it, it, they, they described it as if you'll recognize the concept of the music video, but it'll be like its own unique kind of environment for the house. So like, I don't know, I'm picturing like, maybe the, the plastic surgery girls are the ones who cut his head off. Or do you even think, like, I feel like you, they have to have a decapitated Abel in the house, like. 
A- I- Abel's decapitated head is so iconic. Yeah. I have a keychain of it. Go, go, go. You can't miss this it. This is new to me. I you don't know about this? I don't know about this. No. No, just go. We'll talk. Okay, yeah, you've never seen my... Uh... No. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I've had that for a couple of years. Christopher is in the shot. <laughs> but yeah, little... We'll let, we'll let Abel we'll join fine. us. He's going to hang out by the microphone, I guess. <laughs> Abel's decapitated head is like iconic imagery from that album. So I feel like we're going to absolutely see the plastic surgery girls at least holding it. Maybe making out with it? Like that that reminds me of like Vanity Ball with that. Um, oh, yes. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. This is giving, it's really giving Vanity Ball tea. I'm living, uh, n- maybe not, it's it's definitely the straight vanity ball. It's definitely <laughs> the hetero vanity ball, but that's okay. Las Mission. Vegas themed after hours hotel, and then after hours throbs with the sounds of Heartless. That would make sense, okay, because those videos are very Vegas. I wonder, okay, because to me, the hotel is sexy, right? Like, you go to a hotel to fuck. And the plastic surgery girls, had that like very neon demon necrophilia scene with Abel's decapitated head. What? And I'm like, that would be where, I mean, I don't, obviously I don't think we're gonna see an, a, a scare actor riding a decapitated head, but I think we might see one writhing around on a bed. That's very Halloween Horror Nights. And that seems to me like the place to do it would be the hotel, Yeah. which means we probably are gonna hear too late in the hotel. Well, they said heartless. Well, I mean, yeah, Heartless. And, well, if there's three sections, it would make sense for Too Late know. and Heartless to be the... Uh, I don't know. I'm just speculating. I don't... I actually don't know much about this house. I love this vision of him, like, watching all of his music videos, presumably, on the screens. What if it's, like, the movies that inspired it? Ooh, that'd be fun. Like, there's so many. Like, what if it was, like, The Shine... Like, there's so many movies. The Shining. Fear and Loathing, obviously. Jacob's Ladder, obviously. Uh, Clockwork Orange, obviously, but like Joker. Joker. I would say Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I would definitely Texas Chainsaw. Definitely Texas Chainsaw. Joker. Definitely Neon Demon. What else? Um, American Psycho. Definitely American Psycho. <laughs> uh, maybe Nip Tuck. Like the more fucked up seasons of Nip Tuck. I could definitely see like th- maybe those being on the screen. That yeah. would be cool. My buddy Justin, or uh, most of you would know him as HHN Mannix on Twitter. He pointed he pointed out a few things for me. Uh, so in the Scream Squad ad, uh, there were quite a few little Easter eggs. The crowd of people, like uh, he noticed the guy with the like diamond face mask is the guitarist from the Save Your Tears video. Uh, We obviously know that the plastic surgery girls are from the Too Late video. Um, Then there was this really cool reference on the back wall of the bathroom. So the back wall starts bleeding and that's absolutely, and I agree, is a reference to the Faith performance. And then he, uh, he, he was just speculating that maybe the red and green lighting might be a reference to the lighting from the In Your Eyes video, which I, I agree. He's literally like the Horror Nights detective. Like, if you guys don't follow HHN Mannix on Twitter, like, and you care about Horror Nights theories and the Horror Nights detectives, he is, like, the motherfucking Boris Schuster. Like, there was, like, a well in the back lot, and he was like, that's the well from the Nope trailer. I'm like, how do you do that? How similar do you think the Hollywood and Orlando house are going to be for this house. I was thinking about that too, okay? And I mean, if you're kind of new to the fandom or if this is going to be your first event, it is uh, kind of a thing with Hollywood and Orlando. Whenever they approach the same IP, typically they have a couple directives from the IP holder, but otherwise each coast and each creative team that works on each coast does their own complete original thing. They do whatever they want with it and the house is... If you've ever been fortunate enough to like do both coasts, can feel extremely different. Mm-hmm. But they were they are very different. Like I like I got scared. I got really scared in the Stranger Things in Hollywood. But I also felt like there was a bunch of like black hallways. Yeah. No, well, 
this is different. I mean, and we've seen, they're getting really collaborative now with uh, with Bride of Frankenstein Lives last year in Hollywood. They like designed it so that it would complement the one in Florida. Mm -hmm. And then this year we know Legends Collide is literally a two-parter. Like we have part A, they have part B of the story. And I'm wondering like, with the way that this interview with Entertainment Tonight mm -hmm. worked, like they were alternating between Charles Gray and John Marty, yeah. like, and they were describing the same plot. And the way the article is like, I'm like, I, that would make sense to me if they were directly collaborating with Abel. Yeah. Like, they would maybe work out a similar floor plan and then let the design teams interpret the floor plan maybe slightly differently. Maybe it'll look the same. I'm, like, really curious as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. That's that... With the article, I was just like, I wonder if it is going to be, like, almost the same house. Which is it literally, like, unheard of. Yeah. I also wonder, um, with these six songs they've chosen for the house... Are we going to get any, like, Slash-style remixes? Like, how Slash does, like, music for the Monsters House every year? Like, can you imagine, like, Weekend, like, doing, like... Okay, can... I'm really going down a spiral. Can you imagine, what if we get a vinyl release of the HHN, like, remixes of After Hours songs? This is a fantasy on top of a fantasy. On top of a fantasy. But, like... The fantasy that they would remix it, the fantasy that they would release it, and the fantasy that they would release it on vinyl. Or the fantasy that I would be able to get it fast enough before it sold out. Or just purchase, like, it at all. Yeah. I'm just... Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that I would even be like, able to Like, not even necessarily it. a vinyl. Just, like, period. Full stop. Yeah, full stop. Put it on Apple Music and Spotify. Like... <laughs> This is fully just a fantasy. I don't. I don't know if there are remixes, but there's that would so be many so remixes cool. that he like already has of all of his music. Like I would love like a specific. I mean, because well, you figure each song actually has to be remixed to be able to work in the context of a continuous loop in a space, and they probably want just the chorus to be going, yeah, or just the musical hook. I feel like, girl, we just cracked the code, <laughs> Mama. Uh. Move over, Justin. <laughs> Got a new team of detectives in the house we have to for the for the sake of keeping horror night's gauntlet special report short i think we have to wrap this up uh but i know we could both just literally keep talking about this all night and we keep we've tried to stop this episode i'm not joking like for fucking 30 minutes we keep being like all right we have to stop talking we have to stop talking and then we both keep coming up with things that we want to talk about about this um it is very like suffice it to say i'm extremely excited about this house i don't know about you no um, I, I, I think this is definitely, this is the IP I'm looking forward to the most. Otherwise, yeah, I'm, just, I'm hyped as fuck, dude. I, I love when there's music in the houses. Like, we always would dance to, like, Hotline Bling. Oh my in, god, in, 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 in American, American Horror, Horror Story, Story, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm just, like, super hyped to be, like, in a party mode in a house. It's my favorite sort of, like, vibe. Yeah, great album, uh, incredible music videos. If you have not... If you are in the camp that is hesitant, or you you maybe think that The weekend is a bad fit, I implore you, please watch some of his music videos. Watch In Your Eyes and Too Late. It's gonna fuck you up. Watch his newest music video for How Do I Make You Love Me. Oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. It, he is horror. It's just he's very cerebral. He's very Kubrick. But Weekend is horror. I promise you, Weekend is horror. This house is gonna be cool. His aesthetic is sleek. It's chic. It's it's cool as fuck, dude. Uh, that said, uh, why don't you guys let us know how you feel about the weekend? Do you have do you have a ranking yet? Do you know what your uh, what your most anticipated is yet for the season? Uh, let us know down below. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, bring the notification bell. Help me get into that uh, elusive algorithm everyone keeps talking about. I don't, I don't know her. We haven't met formally. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, my name is Dakota. Uh, you can follow me really on everything at Cathode Coaster uh, Instagram. I probably would say I'm the most active on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter. Uh, Lauren, where can the folks at home find you? Um, you can find me on Twitter at Lolo Friends. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in once again to the Horror Nights Gauntlet special report only on Cathode Coaster. Thank you.